Hello, my brothers and sisters. For well, Hebrew is like people scattered all over the globe. We just want to bring you greetings and the title of this evening's uh, meditation is why Yahuwah or Elohim created the universe. Because you see, when he was creating the universe, he had us. He had us in mind. And so we want to look at our journey. The journey back to Abaya. We want to look at this journey. And our first in this series is basically talking about are introducing each of you, or each of us, because I'm also speaking to myself, introducing us back to the way, back to Yahuwah, back to our Abaya. And the question is, have you ever wondered, really wondered why Elohim created the universe. Let me tell you this. He did it because he has a plan. A plan to call out a people. A people peculiar treasure. A people he loved. A people he wants to fellowship with, but because of sin, because our ancestors have decided that they're going to follow the way of the nations, the way of the Gentiles, then we lost out on the fact that he wants us. Some years ago, I was in a conference and the conference was led by a pastor out of Texas by the name of Jack Graham. And he made a statement. We're talk a matter of fact, we're talking about creation, the creation story. And he made a statement. He said that God, who created the universe, also intricately um, wove you together so you are no accident and he, he, even though he was a gentile believer um, he was telling the truth he wove us together and we are not here by accident so I just want us to understand that. Elohim blessed man and gave him authority over all things, all living things. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 through 28, verses 27 through 28, it says, So Elohim created man in his own image, in the image of Elohim created he him, male and female created he them. In verse 28, he said, And Elohim blessed them, and Elohim said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. So we see here that in creation, Elohim, he is the Elohim of creation. He created everything. We are not here by accident. Um, when I was in college, there are many times we have uh, debates and arguments about um, evolution, the evolutionary theory. And uh, you know, many times I was considered a rebel because I always come out strong. 
talking about Elohim and what he has done. It says in, 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 in um, chapter, Genesis chapter 2, verse 8, um, it said, and Elohim, or Yahuwah Elohim, it said the Lord God in the, in the um, King James Version, he's talking about Yahuwah Elohim. He planted a garden eastward in, 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 in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Remember in the story, in the creation story, he said he formed the man out of the dust of the ground, and he breathed into his nostril the breath of life, and he became a living soul. So we know that there's no accident. The, the, the garden in, in Eden we, we talk about is, is in Africa. Okay, the location is in Africa. It's a, in verse, verses 10, chapter 2, Genesis chapter 2, verses 10 through 14, he said, And the river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted and became into four heads. In verse 11, he said, The name of the first is Pison, that is which compasseth the whole land of Habila, where there is um, gold. And he said in verse 12, he said, The gold of that land is good. There is bedellium, onyx stone. Verse 13, he said, this, The name of the second river is Gion, and the same is that composite the whole land of Ethiopia. In verse 14, the name of the third was Hedekel, that is it which goeth toward this, the east of Assyria. And the fourth is the river Euphrates. And uh, so we know that, you know, it, is no accident. Habela in Genesis chapter 10 verse 7 is Cush's second son. Remember that um, Cush was one of Calm's son. Right? He, Calm has um, Mizraim, which is Egypt. He also um, has um, the son by the name of Canaan. He has a son by the name of Foot. Okay? And so we know that these people were placed in the land and according to the, the, the scripture it said, Pison, I Pison, the river runs through that land and in the mineral, in that line in, in, in um, chapter 2, verse 12, where it says, in great abundance, as we see in, in biblical um, Africa. So, we are not here by accident. Okay? In Genesis chapter 3, verses um, 1 through 24, Yahuwah Elohim, disapproval with Adam and Eve because they have sinned. They have, the, the result... Of, 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 of disobedient, you know, disobedient to his, 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 his command. He said they should not touch up a certain fruit in the garden or tree. And then they did, and they lost the privileges in the Garden of Eden and having been put out of the Garden of Eden. Genesis chapter 6, verses 1 through 13, Yahuwah repented of you know, creating man and, and, and animals and promise to punish them for murders and wickedness on the earth because people have become violent. People have become real crazy in, 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 in doing their own thing and, and, and not doing what Yahuwah said. And so in Genesis chapter 6, verses 8 and 9, he, he called um, Noah, and it, it, it said, but Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahuwah. These are the generation of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect in his generation. 
and Noah walked with Elohim. So even though there were a, a group of people that were going wrong, here was a man who was willing to do the right thing. And we know that Yahuwah, um, you know, dealt well with him. He dealt well with him. You know, Yahuwah is our Elohim too. He is our Elohim, not only that he was for Adam and, and Eve, not only that he was for, for Noah and his family, but later on you're gonna see how he intricately put us together as a people, the Hebrew Israelite people. And we know that it, it, is, his, it is his will that we walk and, and do the things that uh, is right in his sight. We have a long journey back. This has been a long, arduous journey and we are going back, we are returning to him. And the, the Gentiles' power is about crumbling, right? And so we have to now take up where we left off, where our ancestors left off. Now we have to start moving and moving back towards Abaya. We have to go back into fellowship with him. We have to go back, you know, that relationship need to be mended. We need to go back. Modern genetics show that when a large freely interbreed group of people suddenly broken into smaller groups, which from then and breed only among themselves, the, the biblical description of the language of dispersion at, at the, the, the Tower of Babel. We see that um, in Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 through 9, that different racial um, characteristics will arise very rapidly. And this is what happened from, from, uh, from Noah's three sons, Japheth, Shem, and Ham. We see that from Japheth we have what what we, we have um, we call the, the Gentile nation, okay, through Gomer. Right? We see that these people gathered in one location and then the, the people of Ham are come, they gathered in one location. The people of Shem, our ancestor gather in one location. And we see that over a period of time, they multiply and they develop into a different and a large group of, of people. And, and, and we, we see today we have um, a problem with colors, blacks and whites, uh, uh, African-American and Caribbean people, and, and Caucasian people and all these people, we cannot get together, we cannot live together because of differences. And all of this comes through the fact that we have sinned, we have turned away from, from Yahuwah. And, and, uh, and so in, in calling us, even in calling us, you know, we are at a point where we need to get back into fellowship with him. And period that passed where we were not considered a people because of our rebellion. He turned us away, he, you know, and, and give the Gentiles a chance to come in because of the fact that our ancestor rejected him turn to idol worship, turn to following the nations. Today, we need to come back to him. Well, I'm gonna ask you to like this session and also strike, subscribe. And we'll talk to you a little more in the next session.